Hey church family, this is Pastor Chris here with Pastor Wendy. And we're coming to you with our weekly update video. We have four things we want to cover today. And Wendy's going to start us off with the first thing. Well, the first one would be Sunday, February 19, the after church potluck, the family meal potluck. Yes. Please don't miss it. It's a great time not only to meet other people, but to share some great food. Uh, you can sign up at discoverbethel.com events, or you can uh, sign up at the back of the sanctuary. Love to know if you're coming and what you're bringing. Yeah, it, the, the sign up is for a dish, because it is a potluck. So make sure there's something you can contribute, whether you want to help set out or bring a dish. You can find that link on the events page. It's where we're putting a lot of our stuff now. So right. look for that. The next thing I want to mention is a nom we're going through nominations right now for new elders and deacons to serve our church. Now, you might immediately think, oh, I'm not sure if that would be me, or maybe you don't even think of someone immediately. But I would ask you to pray. That's one of the things that we've asked everyone at our church to do, to pray about who God is asking to serve. And if you have someone that God is prompting on your mind, this is someone that needs to be serving the church mm -hmm. in a role of a governing elder, a shepherding elder, or a deacon. Please let us know, and you can send a nomination and why you're nominating the people but to, by sending an email to clerk at discoverbethel.com. If you have more questions about this process, please let us know. Uh, nominees do need to be members of Bethel. And the other thing I just want to mention is that we have a deadline coming up. So the deadline is actually next week, February 12th. So please keep that in mind and pray about who you think God's calling to serve here at Bethel. Nominations go to Ivan Mast. Yeah, Ivan is our uh, elder who's overseeing that process, Excellent. but clerk at discoverbethel.com is Perfect. Email. And a good thing to, to note is that some people think that when they're serving in office, they have to have this perfect life. Oh, no. You, you don't, because none of us do. So please just let God direct you as to what you should be doing. Yeah, I mean, part of it is, is you kind of look at what the, what the way the Bible talks about um, elders and deacons, mm -hmm. it is, it, it's is—it's this fruit that's coming out of a life of walking with Jesus. And so I think that's what we're looking at, the Absolutely. fruit that's coming through. We want to walk, walk alongside people in all of their different spaces of their leadership journey um, because God's moving in each of our lives. Pastor Chris. Yes. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Maybe you'll help me figure it out. I certainly will. Tuesday, February 14 is Valentine's Day, and there will be a parents' night out, kids' night in, hosted here at Bethel by the missions team, uh, Bethel, the Bethel Youth Missions Team. Yeah. So if you would like to have a night away and have your children taken care of and have a lot of fun themselves, make sure that you email Melanie at discoverbethel.com or go to the events page, uh, discoverbethel.com events, and sign up your, your children for that event. I think that's all. I think it's a $15 a child to a max of 45. Details are on that page. Yeah, 5 to 8 p.m. Do it. Sign up soon. Um, the last thing we're going to mention in this video is that we as a church are getting ready for Lent. And Ash Wednesday, which this year is February 22nd, is this big day to kind of prepare ourselves. Mm -hmm. In the past few, year, day, past, past few years, we've really used this day, a day of prayer, some fasting, to really prepare for the season. And we want to invite you to it, whether you're choosing to pray through the different times in the day that we lay out, but also to join us in a prayer and worship service at the end of the day at 7 p.m. Now, you, maybe you didn't grow up with Ash Wednesday or it's unfamiliar to you. But our goal is just to create a day, a space for us to remember who God is, repent and seek him. And that applies to all of us as a church. So please reserve that time in your space, whether you're working, maybe you wanna think about how to approach that day differently. Mm -hmm. And when you're thinking about that evening, please join us for worship. I think it's gonna be a great time of coming together as we embrace this journey of Lent, which is gonna take us all the way to Easter. Is there anything else you want to say about I that? I think that's everything. That's all the update video. Thanks for joining us this week. We will see you as the week goes by. Take care.